Professor Murat, it's a pleasure and honor to have you here. Uh, it has been uh, a long journey and uh, at last you are here. Uh, and you are participating for the first time in SIPS. Yes. Uh, give us some impression about SIPS. I really enjoy going to meetings when there are people from various backgrounds and disciplines because I learn a lot and I make a lot of new friends and sometimes we end up working together and collaborating and when you bring people together with different backgrounds and different interests you create new technology and directions and that's very important you know when you mix chemists and physicists you have physical chemistry <laughs> <laughs> you mix businessmen with scientists you have biotechnology <laughs> so I'm in favor of that I think that's very very important and I had a good time here I learned a lot it's a wonderful beautiful place and uh, I will come back the next time I'm sure sure you are already invited in in uh, in Phuket Thailand next year <laughs> in November I will try to be there uh, but I promised you before and I had to change but I won't, next time I won't change <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure, I understand. Um, you were awarded Shetman International Leadership Award. How you feel about that? Oh, it's it's a it's a nice honor. And I'm su I guess I'm surprised that you you awarded me the honor. Uh, I'm I'm pleased. I'm excited, uh, and I hope that we can give the award to some really good people next time. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the new one, new established award was Murad International Life Improvement Award. I realized that. I want to thank you for it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, have you ever had any award uh, following your name in the past? Um, there, the university that I went to for college has two awards for the best students graduating. Uh -huh. One is called the Walker Cup. It usually went to a smart student and a good athlete. And a couple of years ago, they decided to have the Fair Murad Award. <laughs> <laughs> for students? For a student. Okay. Um, in Skopje, Macedonia, there are two universities in Skopje across the street from each other. And I have an honorary degree from the Mother Teresa University. She was also an Albanian. There were two Albanians with Nobel Prizes, me and Mother Teresa. And they changed the name of the street to the Fair and Merit Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah. It's uh, nice, no, it's nice to have it. Yeah. I enjoy it. I also, for us, it's a pleasure to have, uh, to have uh, 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 a word after your name. This has been a very good meeting. I want to compliment you. I know it's difficult to have large meetings and lots of work, uh, but it's very important that you do it. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what we are trying to do. And uh, in the framework of sustainable, uh, in the in the fr in sustainability framework, uh, we mentioned there are three pillars: science, technology, governance, and management and education and civil society. How you see the role of science in this triangle? Well, you know, science creates novel technology and improves the quality of life and it certainly makes life easier. You know, think of how families survived years ago washing their clothes <laughs> or going to the grocery store. So it, science and technology helps accomplish those things, it changes, but it does make our lives more complicated also. Because? Uh, well, because there are lots of other countries in the world that don't live as well as the prominent countries and we'd like to help them and it's difficult. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately one of the problems is there's an awful lot of corruption in the world. We need to change that. Mm -hmm. so I think something you might want to consider for future meetings is to have a mechanism for some young people to come. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That would be helpful mm -hmm. to expose we them to the group of that's people. That's exactly that our purpose. That's why we established uh, 
Vosage International uh, Young Star Awards. So these are Young Star Awards that we uh, honor. And then we have in the plan to have another award, a student award. That's, that would be good. And also we are working on some, uh, the, to have some sponsorship in order to help students, to cover them financially, to come. So these are the areas in, in there where we are working. That's good. Uh, hopefully it will be, will be successful. And as I said the other night, there's so many things we need to fix and improve. And the Nobel laureates tend to be older people. We don't have many years left to change and help. It's going to be the young people that we train and motivate. They're going to fix those problems, and they need to be fixed. So uh, how often you travel? You travel so l a lot. I travel a lot, more than I should. Uh, I have more than two million miles in airplanes. That's a lot of miles. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do you have free time? Yes, I do. Uh, uh, but I have always worked very, very hard. Uh, I have, I can relax, but I can only relax for short periods before I get excited and interested and think about problems for research. For many years, I would keep a pad of paper next to my bed and a pen, a pencil. I'd wake up with an idea. I have to write it down. <laughs> oh, that's good. Otherwise, you forget. I do. I I do the same. Um, so the, uh, science is so much fun uh, to do something that's never been done before and if you're lucky it can turn out to be important and that's very rewarding that's what we are doing as you see as you saw in our summit we try to do everything fun yeah. high quality of papers but also entertainment and also a dinner and a show every night and we choose the best places for scientists engineers intentionally not by chance. No, I, I think by picking places like Cyprus, Rio, you're going to bring more people because they're going to be excited to visit, but it's an opportunity to bring talented people together. That yes. Works. It helps. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, your life is, has been uh, full of uh, challenges and rebellions, and uh, you followed your guts everywhere since you're a young boy. He actually, you follow the example of the family. Your family is the same. Lots of guts, uh, guts following guts, following the... My parents had very little education. My father was an Albanian who grew up in Macedonia. Came to the U.S. when he was a teenager. My mother came from a very poor family near St. Louis, Alton, Illinois. And they worked very, very hard. And I realized how important education could be to change what they went through. And I worked very hard helping them. I have two younger brothers, and we all worked in the restaurant together. And my parents would work 14, 16 hours a day. And I usually work 12 or 14 hours a day, most times. But I think that's what you have to do to be successful. And it's not work, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best definition. If it is right. not work, it's fun. Right. And probably, and I think with all of the t talented people, whether you're a scientist, a doctor, or a Nobel laureate, what you want to do is to do things because it's exciting to solve problems. And if you're lucky, the problem that you solve is going to be very important and change the quality of life. Uh, and you're going to influence a lot of people. Uh, and that's what we want to do. And uh, if you're really lucky, you get to go to Stockholm. <laughs> um, you saw my presentation in the gala night about science and scientists and engineers. Yes. Well, what's, what's your impression about that? Well, I, I, as I said, I think it's very important to have people with different interests and backgrounds get together, communicate, and we all learn from each other. And we realize there are other problems that are very difficult ones that we can't solve, our, solve ourselves. But if we team up and work together, we'll solve them. And that's the way it works. Yeah, and that's what we are doing. That's right. That's important. I was mentioning that not in, there is not enough recognition for scientists and engineers in, in the world. A number of scientists and engineers are going down in, in the majority, almost in all countries of the world. Why do you think so? 
Not the doctors, though. I th yes, not no, the no, doctors, no. not the medical are, doctors. There are less people going into medicine. There are less really? People, yes, yes. Um, what's happening in the U.S. is that education is so expensive. When people finish college, and now they have a lot of debt, and if they become doctors, they're going to have more debt. So they don't become teachers or scientists. They got to go pay their bills so they go to work. And the same is true if you train in business school or law school or whatever. So I think young people want to have more enjoyment in life. Yes, exactly. And they want to have fun and earn money. And they're not going to spend their... I, I trained for many, many years, a long time. But I knew I had to do it to get where I wanted to go. I was prepared for it. I think today the young people are less likely to do that. Mm -hmm. They don't realize that being a good student is so important. Mm -hmm. I, it, I know it's important. If you're a good student, you usually have very smart colleagues. Mm -hmm. And you go to good universities and meet even smarter people. And I don't care if you're a doctor, a scientist, a businessman, you now have talented people to interact with and it helps your career. Mm -hmm. My son is a businessman. Oh, yeah. He trained at USC in California. It's, a, it's an engineer, a scientist, a, or? He, he went into communication, he got his degree in communication. Okay. He's very good at interacting with people. And now he's been the president of three startup companies. He's doing very, I'm very proud of him. But he gets on the phone and calls his friends and they've been very successful. Mm -hmm. And they all do business together. <laughs> Contacts are important. Uh, and uh, and we need role models to help the young people mm -hmm. and provide opportunities. Mm -hmm. And I was lucky I had a lot of good role models. And uh, your family is sp spread in a certain way, has relations with all uh, regions of the world. Well, my father came from Macedonia. My mother was poor. Her background was England and Scotland. Uh, two of my children married Jews. <laughs> We're a mixed group of people. Yeah. Uh, and when I travel, I've gotten to know lots of people. I mean, I've been Professor Lee now several times as I travel. And the Nobel laureates get together in various places. And we become friends and we help each other. And we try to motivate young people. Yeah. We're yeah. interested in research and education. And well, uh, it's. Um it's a really a pleasure and uh, an honor to have you here and thank you for the interview. We'll be in touch thank and you. Uh, uh, you have been a lightning of our atmosphere, <laughs> seriously. Well, I hope uh, so. I look forward to coming again in Thailand. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you.